Hi guys, I'm Dawn DeRusso, fashion and lifestyle stylist, and welcome to Bella Dawn TV. Today, we're talking white button-down shirts. They are an essential, essential item in every closet. I think every girl should have one. It's the perfect go-to top when you're like, I have nothing to wear in the morning. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is this white button-down. It has these nice details um, pleating on the both sides, a little ruffle sleeve, a puff sleeve, a round collar, and I love this detail, the gold buttons. They're really nice. It gives it a nice pop, a nice flair to the shirt. So look for shirts with a little bit of um, a button detail or, like I said, the pleating detail or ruffles on the sleeves. All this stuff gives it a little bit more of a feminine um, detail to a classic white button down. Next is the fact that this one comes with something extra, and you can start to look for this in some of your white button downs. It has this extra panel on the inside. So when you're used to seeing a blouse pull a little bit and you can see in the middle, this one prevents that because it has this extra panel in it. So I love that. I love, love, love that feature. Finally, um, most of the shirts I'm going to show you have a little bit of stretch in them and they conform and fit to the, the female body a little bit better. So I love that. I love that this fits and comes right into your curves. And that's really important when you're getting a white um, button-down shirt to look for something that's a little bit more fitted, a little bit more feminine, um, rather than your boyfriend or husband's basic button, boxy button-down shirt. Um, this one looks fantastic with a pair of liquid le leggings over the knee boots and wear it out. It kind of gives it that classic button-down shirt with that edgy rocker chic kind of look, so I love that look. It also looks great tucked into your pinstripes uh, pin <laughs> pencil thin skirt, um, your black high-waisted trouser pants, um, a skinny jean, it really can be paired with a lot of different options. So I love this shirt for that reason. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is this one. It's another take on a classic white button down. And basically this one also has stretch. And I'll show you. It has a nice darting on the bottom here which means that it has this, these seams which take you in and make you look a lot slimmer in the waist, so that's really important. Um, it also has a um, puff sleeve, which I really like. I love the puff sleeve on this detail. Um, because what this does is it gives you the extra little something on the arms and the sleeves. And um, this also has this necktie, which I really, really like. This necktie um, can be tied a bunch of different ways. I like to tie it just with a basic little knot so it adds a nice little something to the shirt. If you want to add more pop and um, really exaggerate the look, this could be tied in a fancy little bow, just like that. Oh, and it looks gorgeous. Throw a vest over this and you're good to go. It looks so cute. I love the bow. Um, so like I was saying, the puff sleeves, really nice. Make sure when you buy your any shirt that this seam, the end of this shoulder, comes right to the end because that means that the shirt is a good fit for you. So make sure these come to right to the end of the edge of the shirt. Again, this one has a really nice slimming factor to it. It has darting under the arm also, which helps with the bust line. And if you notice again in the back, it's very, very fitted. It has all of these seams. So it's really important when you're looking for a, a button down. The final look that I'm going to show you is um, this pin stripe. I'll show you up close. It has a nice little pin stripe gold detail to the shirt, and I love that. Um, it looks really nice on. This one is more classic style, but because it has the pinstripe and because it's an off-white, it takes that classic style up a notch. Um, this one also only, the buttons start right at the bust line. So that's a really nice part to the shirt that it starts there. Um, this one has your, is your classic, but it has a long sleeve. Now, when you're putting on a long sleeve, you're going to make sure that this sleeve, where your wrist cuts, is where the end of the sleeve should be. You don't want it too short so it'll look like your little sister shirt and you don't want it too long so it'll look like you put on someone else's baggy big shirt. So make sure it's right at when your wrist cut breaks, that's where you want the shirt to end. Now, I cuff this shirt. This is, has a, a four button cuff on it so if I cu cuff it, if you're looking for the cuff, the cuff's going to come to here and when you roll it up it'll be right at the break. I love that. I love cuffing shirts. It gives it, gives it that fun Audrey Hepburn kind of button down look. Now, to finalize this look, 
what I like to do is, if you know you're going out Thursday night, Friday night, and um, you're definitely going out after work, I add a little shirt over it. This one has a lot of lacy detail to it. And the fun part about this is, once you add this shirt, it's great for work. You can wear this under any suit and add some nice detail to the shirt itself. And besides that, once you take this shirt off at night, take the blast off at night, and just leave this lacy shirt on with a nice little fancy little top or bra or cami underneath it, and which you could wear all together at work. Once you take this off, it's perfect for going out at night with your pencil skirt on or with your black trousers or whatever you wore to work that day. So you could take this off and you have a whole nother look. That's it. If you guys like my tips or you want to hear more, you can find me at Twitter slash Dawn Del Russo or DawnDelRusso.com or BellaDawn.com. I hope I answered your questions and I can't wait to talk to you guys soon. Bye.